hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again hope you are all doing well so dear friends we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for CSE students uh, and the allied branches were there like ISE and AIML well, today we will discuss the ANOVA problem that is analysis of variance okay model 5 it is an easier model you can easily get uh, 10 marks for this particular question so first of all what does the ANOVA mean ANOVA is a statistical technique to test whether the uh, means we are calculating the means in this case means of three or more populations okay not a population actually it may be the varieties of groups over there so the means of three or more population are equal or not that is the ANOVA okay so a technique by which we can calculate the means of three groups or more than three groups right so this technique was uh, first developed first developed by R.A. Fisher this technique is widely used in the professional business and physical sciences right so today we will discuss this particular question from the model question paper that is uh, three different kinds of food are tested on three groups of rats for five weeks the objective is to check the difference in mean weight in grams as i earlier told in the definition we are supposed to calculate the means in this case of the rats per week apply one way ANOVA using 0 0.05 significance level to the following data so there is a small procedure which you should follow easier one not much more tougher than over here so see here this is your problem food food number one food number two food number three and these all observations are given okay so procedure is that you should write like this in the solution draw the box and write down these uh, observations whatever are given okay then take the total of these terms one two three four five six terms are there so you have to total these terms okay so you can uh, do it in Kelsey also but your calculation should be far fast over there so this is 12 plus 8 is 20 39 8 uh, 47 53 63 64 i am getting here okay then 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 9 18 22 28 and 35 okay this is what 35 then 19 uh, plus 7 is 26 36 39 46 and 55 this is where uh, what we call uh, summation of these observations over here now just calculate this one okay 64 plus 35 plus 55 you will get 154 as grand total for the t over here okay so 154 now t square just square these terms so 64 square 64 square is equal to 4096 okay next is 35 into 35 which is equal to 1225 okay then 55 into sorry square 55 square which is equal to 3025 once you calculate this table okay <clears throat> then there is a formula uh, to calculate ssc ssc over there okay so let me put down the formulas over here so first see over here you have to draw again a table and take the squares of these terms okay all the numbers you have to take squares then you have to add up so that we can use that in the formula over there okay and this is the final table for this particular problem it is called as ANOVA table which consists of source of variation, sum of squares, degree of freedom, mean squares, and F ratio. So no need to worry, I will just follow the procedure first, then you automatically automatically come to know what uh, we have to do. First of all, uh, once you calculate this one, okay, the sum of T over here. Now there is a formula for SSC. SSC is equal to, see here, la at last we need SSC, but we have to calculate it over here. That is SSC is equal to T1 square divided by N1 plus t2 square divided by n2 plus t3 square divided by n3 minus t square divided by n so what is t1 square already we have calculated summation that is here see 4096 is the t square that is for food one it is t1 so i can write here as t1 t2 this is your t t and this is your final t right so what is t1 t1 is 4096 upon this n1 n1 is the number of uh, sorry number of terms yes in the uh, rows were there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is the number you can write down 6 plus t2 t2 is 1 2 2 5 1 2 2 5 1 2 2 5 divided by 6 plus 3 0 2 5 divided by 6 t3 divided by n3 minus t square by n so t is here see here t is equal to 1 5 4 i can take 1 5 4 whole square divided by n this capital in n is the total number of observations see here 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 3 that is 18 is your total number of observations you can count it also 1 2 3 4 5 6 
7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 like that okay so one you have to calculate this in the calc over here so let me calculate this so see here this is your 4096 upon 6 then plus 1225 divided by 6 then plus 3025 3025 divided by 6 minus what is the term 155 okay bracket start 154 whole square upon 18 you will get answer here as 73.4 70 73.4 okay this is your value for the ssc so later on we will need it in the formula now just go through this box f1 f2 f3 you have to calculate the squares of these numbers so what is the square of 8 64 12 square is 144 okay 19 square is 361 and 8 square is 64 6 is 36 and 11 11 is 121 okay so 4 4 is our 16 25 16 uh, 36 81 and 7 7 is our 49 then 11 11 square is 121 8 square is 64 7 square is 49 13 square is 169 okay so your calculation should be fast over here that is 7 7 square is 49 and 9 9s are 81 this is your table now you have to do summation of these terms <coughs> once you sum this term you will get 79 once you sum this uh, this much term these terms you will get 223 and once you calculate this much okay so you will get 533 over here okay now do summation of these terms 790 so 790 plus 223 plus 533 you will get summation as 150 sorry 141546 this is your grand total of summation of xi square okay now in the formula sst so we need this much that is summation of xi which is equal to this one okay we need this one in the formula now so i can write here s s so, uh, sorry sst okay sst which is equal to so first of all let me tell you what is this ssc ssd so see here ssc is the sum of squares between samples or either columns you can say and sse means sum of squares within samples so there are two categories especially between the samples within the samples okay so ssc is sum of squares between samples sse is sum of squares within samples and msc and msc msc and msc we will calculate later on and i will tell you okay so first of all let's calculate sst sst is given by summation of xi square minus t square by n okay so what is summation of xi square we have already calculated here that is 1546 so 1546 minus t t is already given here 154 so it is square we have to take then divided by n is total number of observation that is 18 right now let me calculate this much that is 1546 minus uh, bracket start 154 whole square upon 18 you will get the value as 228.4 228.4 228.44 this is your sst now there is a formula for sse okay within the samples so sse is nothing but sst minus ssc so what is the sst value 228.44 minus ssc value is 73.44 so now let me calculate uh, 228 already here minus 73 sorry 73.44 which is equal to 155.0 that is simply 155 i am getting sse okay all values we have calculated now you have to put down it in this particular table so ssc value what is the ssc value that is sum of squares between samples is 73.4 so 73.4 what is the value of sse so that is your 155 okay so yes 155 then sst we are getting 228.44 so you can write it here 228.44 this is the value for this sum of squares then degree of freedom in some books you will get c minus 1 in some books you will get k minus 1 so no need to confuse over here so k is uh, number of uh, groups over there okay so see here put 1 put 2 put 3 so three groups are there you can write down here 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 and n n is the total number of observation already we have calculated uh, already it is given in the question that is 18 minus k k value is 3 so you will get 15 here 
right then 18 minus sorry n minus 1 that is 18 minus 1 is 17 this is your degree of freedom then msc is equal to ssc divided by k minus 1 so ssc we have calculated so that is 73.4 which is equal to 73.4 divided by k minus 1 that is k minus 1 is 2 so once i will calculate it 73.4 divided by 2 which is equal to 36.7 36.7 then mse is equal to see here msc is equal to mean sum of square between the samples and mean sum of square within the samples there are only two categories you should remember and i earlier told you in the definition we are supposed to calculate only the means were here okay so mean square we have to deal with so now sse sse already calculated here that is 155 so 155 divided by n is 18 number of observation minus k is 3 number of groups so 18 minus 3 is 15 so i can just calculate it divided by 15 is equal to 10.33 10.33 so which is more here msc or msc so msc is greater than here so you have to take f ratio as msc divided by msc which is maximum you have to take into the numerator and then the rest of the term denominator if it is this is more msc is more then you have to take reciprocal that is mse divided by msc okay now let me calculate the f ratio over here so that is msc msc is 36.7 36.7 divided by 10.33 sorry 10.33 which is equal to 3.55 so 3.55 i am getting f ratio now it is already given in the table f table you will get it in the examinations that is uh, f distribution table so you have to check uh, whether uh, the f ratio at which value at this value degree of freedom will be 2 and this is 15 okay at 2 and 15 you have to check the f ratio over there okay so see here uh, dear friends it is the your f distribution table at uh, 5 percent level of significance it will be given in the handbook in the examinations you need to find out at the 2 and 15 uh, which are i have marked here with the black pen over here and 3.68 is the standard value for the f distribution uh, at 2 comma 15 degree of freedoms okay you have to take this value 3.6 at as standard okay so now let me come to the topic so you have seen in the table that 3.68 is the standard value so 3.68 is the standard value at 2 comma 15 degree of freedom okay so over value is calculated value is 3.55 so it is 3.55 is less than 3.68 okay so it should be actually less than 3.68 uh, so that we can calculate uh, conclude that our hypothesis is accepted okay if it is greater than the uh, tabulated value then definitely our hypothesis will be rejected so in this case our hypothesis will be accepted okay so i can conclude over here as conclusion Conclusion I can write at 5% level of significance. 5% level of significance. So 3.55 is less than 3.68. So our hypothesis, hypothesis is accepted. So this is all about today's problem. Thank you for watching my video.